Any five films that have influenced my career? Well, I have to say the, the one that pops to mind first is a movie that Hal Ashby directed, who has always been one of my favorite directors, uh, and that was Harold and Maude. I remember I'd gotten to go study in England uh, my senior year in high school. I got out on, early on a trimester, and uh, I got to go with, it was a, about 16 of us from area high schools in Fort Worth, Texas, and there was a, it was a semester abroad, and we ended up in Richmond upon Thames, which is kind of greater London. And, that, and I remember coming back from that, and I'd met a, a, a guy who was my age from another school of forward, Tom Huckabee, and, and he had an interest in filmmaking, and we decided to get into it together. Well, I came back, and I had a date one night, and I went to see this movie, Harold and Maude. I think I'd heard a little bit about it, but I didn't really know much about it. To me, the best movie experiences I've ever had were when I've seen films cold, where I didn't know anything about them. That's where I, I feel like I've been really transported and really pulled in into the screen and story. And I remember seeing Harold and Maude with this date, and I, it just, the movie just spoke to me. It was just, I guess, a generational film. And I remember coming out of the theater, and it was about nine o'clock, and I, I said to the date, I said, wasn't that the most unusual and wonderful movie you've ever seen? And she said, I didn't really get it. And I was like, ah, oh, I don't know what she said, but she just didn't have the same reaction I did. And that's, 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 that's what makes it a horse race too. So I, I got her home. I feigned that I was kind of feeling under the weather and got her home as quick as I could so, uh, so I could come back and see the last feature that night, so I watched it again by myself and enjoyed it equally. And I remember going to my dad right shortly after that and said, do you know anybody in Hollywood? I had another experience like that uh, a couple years later. I'd been a student at NYU and I'd gone out to Casper, Wyoming for the summer. Uh, my dad had told me there was a mineral boom out there and uh, he sold surveying instruments. And he said, you can probably make some quick cash. And I needed some money pretty badly. Uh, I wanted to fix up a loft. And so I got out to Casper, Wyoming, and I was working on this uh, uranium drilling rig. And we worked out in the Red Desert. We were drilling these test holes. And they drop in a, a, a Geiger counter like our apparatus. And they were figuring out if there was enough uranium to mine there. And we worked long hours. We were out there all week. And um, I uh, remember staying with one of the guys, one of the co-workers had a trailer and I'd been staying in a hotel, kind of a rundown hotel in, Ta in Casper, Wyoming. And I, uh, he said, hey, you want to stay with me? And he had cable. And this was really kind of unusual for anybody to have cable back then. It was HBO. And I remember one afternoon he was out fixing his truck and I, this movie, The Man Who Would Be King, was coming on. And it was John Huston's version of the Roger Kipling story starring Sean Connery and, and uh, Michael Caine. And that was one of those, I, I kind of knew of the, of the story, but I didn't know what the story was. And that was another great experience I had watching a film. Uh, there's been so many, I'd have to say uh, um, probably one of Buster Keaton's films, uh, maybe The General or, or one of those, Sherlock Jr. or. Uh, uh, Gosh, what's the other one? Steamboat Bill Jr. is a big favorite of mine. Yeah, again, the just dif different films. I remember another movie I saw that was that left an indelible impression on me. I remember going to Dallas uh, with my brother Bob. My father took us over, and this was back in 1969. And this, there was an X-rated movie, so it didn't even come to Fort Worth. It was playing in Dallas. It was Midnight Cowboy. And I remember seeing that the first time, and that really had a st strong influence on, on me and my brother. And that was, uh, is that five? That's four, one more. That's four? There's so much better than I thought. Uh, it's great well, let's great think. Movie. What's an, ah, oh, there's so many, gosh. I mean, you see great movies all the time. I was uh, really impressed and taken by 127 hours. I'm a huge fan of Danny Boyle. He's to me just such a, a consummate filmmaker.